Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, Commodity TV here in our studios in Munich today. And with me here is Mark Lehmanns, the CFO of Caledonia Mining. And uh, yeah, he wants to give us an update onto his terrific company. Mark, thank you very much for taking the time. Good morning. Um, Caledonia Mining, you did very well. Um, beside a bit of the production, I would say, the production was a bit lower. Um, can you give us a bit of an update on the last six months, please? Yeah, well, as you point out, production in, in 2014 was, was less than we'd expected. So over the course of 2014, recognizing we weren't achieving what we hoped to achieve, we, um, we set out a, a revised investment plan towards the end of, uh, of 2014. And now we're absolutely focused on delivering that plan. So. We're spending $70 million over the next uh, five years. Out of your own cash? Out of, out of, out of cash flow. Mm -hmm. We're not raising any debt. We're not raising any equity. Um, so $70 million spent over the next five years. And we, we're taking production from about 42,000 ounces up to about 80,000 ounces by 2022. Significantly, we've got, we've got a couple of specific um, milestones which we've, which we've set for ourselves. Uh, and we achieved, we announced this morning that we achieved the first one of those milestones. So we mm -hmm. completed a... Um, a sort of circular tramming loop that's mm -hmm. 750 meters below the oh, wow. surface, which just allows us, it's a, relative, it's a small step, but it's a very important step in the right direction. It allows us to move more material underground. Mm -hmm. which, uh, which, which brings means, costs down? Um, well, it, it doesn't really bring the cost down, but it means we can move more material, we can move, do more development, and it's sort of, it's, it's a stepping stone on the way to increasing production. But mm -hmm. I, think, I think critically, what it's showing is that we, we say we're doing things, and we actually achieve them. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we're very transparent now with the market in terms of where we are on, on our various projects. So that tramming loop we announced this morning has been completed. Um, mm -hmm. Then in terms of increasing production, the first step towards increasing production is, um, is a sub-vertical shaft, which we're sinking from 750 metres down to just over 900 metres. That shaft was finished last week, mm -hmm. uh, and now we've, we've, we've started equipping the shaft. And then we'll do horizontal development. So we expect to see production coming out of that shaft in, um, mm -hmm. in January next year, mm -hmm. which was then when we start to see incremental production, increased cash generation, uh, lower costs, mm -hmm. and clearly then higher profit and the ability to, uh, to consider whether we, whether we start to consider the increasing the dividend. Mm -hmm. oh, that's I like to hear that, of course. Uh, but before we talk about the financials, um, what do you expect for this year production and what do you think it might be next year? This year we're looking at about the same as last year. So this year we're looking at about 42. Mm -hmm. We do expect 42,000 ounces. 42, ounces. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did just under 10,000 ounces in the first quarter. Second quarter we'll perhaps do 10 and a half, 11. Mm -hmm. And so the production is going to increase as the, as the year progresses. Mm -hmm. So the exit rate may be about uh, 12,000 ounces a quarter. The next year we'll be doing about 50,000 ounces. Okay, great. Now it's very important that because the fixed cost base is so high, yeah. as we increase production, our overall average cost does come down quite quickly, which, yeah. which further boosts the cash generation. Okay. With what have you projected your all-in costs for this year, and what do you think you can bring it down next year? This year we're looking at all-in costs of the mid-900s. Mm -hmm. uh, by, by 2018, we expect the all-in all, all cost to be uh, below 750. Wow. So that means even at $1,200, you're very profitable. And that's, that's what you money. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what you said. You already pay a nice dividend. It's one and a half cents per quarter. Yeah. That gives that uh, current share price roughly 6% yield, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we, we pay a quarterly dividend, uh, one and a half Canadian cents a quarter, six cents for the year. The share price has moved up quite quite significantly in the last four weeks. It's gone mm -hmm. up from uh, about eighty Canadian cents to um, to a dollar, mm -hmm. um, and that's really reflecting, I think, um, um, investors' increasing comfort about the trajectory for Zimbabwe. Uh, there has been a sort of a, um, a beginnings of a rehabilitation in the, in the way that the West in, interacts with Zimbabwe. I think they, the investors are becoming more comfortable with our ability to deliver, mm -hmm. and so the press release we put out this morning, I think, I think um, adds adds sort of traction to that. And as we as we grow production over the course of the next sort of four or five years and increase the profit, increase the cash generation, um, we do see scope for a very significant um, move in the share price. So mm -hmm. just because the share price has been quite strong in the past four weeks, that's by no means the end of the story. Yeah, you know, we're still in the foothills of where I think we can end up. Yeah, definitely. If, if we do a little bit mathematics, I would say if we calculate something like three, four hundred dollars per ounce, at least as profit, yeah, mm -hmm. even at current prices, then uh, and you will do something like, uh, let's say, plus 50,000, for example, you have an easy 20 million dollar profit. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, twice that, I expect. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, in, if you look at some of the market projections for 2017, it, we're mm -hmm. looking at uh, a profit after tax of about 45 billion dollars. Yeah. So that that gives, of course, room for share buyback and dividend increases yeah, and, and our acquisitions. And, maybe. Our, and our acquisitions. But let's be clear: we're not in the business of growing the business to grow the business. Mm -hmm. okay? We don't want to to buy and start producing ounces that don't make money. We're in this yeah. business to make money. 
And so if like we that. find the right opportunities, we'll, we'll, we want to have the flexibility mm -hmm. to do them. Uh, but first of all, for the, for the next 18 months, we have to be focused on delivering this growth. Mm -hmm. If we don't deliver this growth, we don't have the cash to play with. So that's absolutely the focus of the business right now. Perfect. That's a great final sentence. Thank you very much. I'm very confident that you will deliver as you have delivered so far and uh, you do the right steps. And uh, yeah, look forward uh, to uh, the future updates then. Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. It was Mike Lehmann, the CFO of Caledonia Mining. Well, they are full on track. The uh, tramming loop tunnels have uh, matched uh, together last night. And uh, yeah, now they are ready to install. And from the January 2016 onwards, they are yeah, through that also in the, in, the, in the position to increase then the production further on. And uh, yeah, the, the company makes already a lot of money, pays a 6% dividend, I think in uh, yeah, times of 0% interest world. Uh, this is a very nice yield to have and as Mark mentioned, Zimbabwe is getting better and better in the uh, yeah, recognition of the investors of the international, yeah, I would say, uh, investor awareness and yeah. uh, so it's getting quite positive and there's yeah, lots of room for the company to grow and uh, to move further and of course so for the share price. Thanks for watching us. Bye bye from Munich.